In the Warhammer universe, there is no peace, only war. And as a Space Marine, war is all you know. In Space Marine 2, every step you take, every enemy you face, reminds you of one thing. Survival is not guaranteed, but your duty to the Emperor is absolute. Against endless horrors, you're not just fighting for victory, you're fighting because there is no other choice. In this galaxy, there's no retreat, only duty, only vengeance, only war. Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2, an epic return to one of the most celebrated chapters in the grim dark universe of Warhammer 40k. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought is there friendly fire in this game? It's finally here, and it has brought with it all the brutality, scale, and rich lore that fans have come to expect. In this video, we'll deep dive into Space Marine 2, exploring the story, the gameplay, the evolution from its predecessor, and how it stands as a shining beacon of what the Warhammer franchise can deliver in the realm of video games. Let's get started. Lots of big guns. Oh, it's the ship. It looks like a looks like a bug. It's a Tyranid. It's about to be a Tyranot. <laughs> Set in the far future where there is only war, the Warhammer 40,000 universe is a dystopia on a galactic scale. The Imperium of Man, an empire spanning thousands of worlds, is beset on all sides by aliens, traitors, and the forces of chaos. In this eternal struggle, space marines, genetically modified super soldiers, serve as humanity's last line of defense. Space Marine 2 returns us to this battle, placing us back in the power armor of Lieutenant Titus, an ultramarine warrior tasked with defending the galaxy from the ever-present threat of annihilation. Yes, purge the Xenos. Nice. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> Damn, dude, he pulled off his claw and just... Yeah, man, he's, a, he's a Titus, who was once a captain, has been demoted, but still leads his warriors with the same unwavering sense of duty. His latest mission to face one of the galaxy's greatest threats, the Tyranids, an alien species hell bent on consuming all life. These swarming Xenos are unlike any other, and this game captures the essence of what it means to stand against impossible odds. One of the core aspects of Space Marine 2 is the story, which picks up right where the original left off. Titus, now a lieutenant, is still haunted by the events of his past, his demotion from captain, accusations of heresy, and the scars of war that have shaped him. However, his loyalty to the Emperor and the Imperium remains unshaken. The story is told through tightly paced cutscenes, with Titus being joined by battle brothers Chiron and Gadriel. The dynamic between these characters give the game more emotional weight as you see not just the physical toll of war, but the psychological impact as well. Titus is no longer just a weapon. He's a leader who bears the heavy burden of command. You can feel the tension between the duty to the Imperium and the personal conflict that arises from the horrors of war. At the heart of this game is the Tyranid Menace. The story is framed around the defense of a strategic Imperial world that's under siege by High Fleet Leviathan. The Tyranids are relentless in their pursuit to consume all biological matter, and the scale of their assault is captured brilliantly in the game's set pieces. These massive battle sequences where you fend off thousands of Tyranid organisms make you feel the weight of defending humanity against an insurmountable foe. One of the most exciting aspects of Space Marine 2 is how it builds upon the foundation of its predecessor. The original Space Marine game was praised for its satisfying blend of melee and ranged combat, and this sequel takes it a step further. The chain sword is still as brutal as ever, slicing through hordes of enemies, but now the combat feels even more fluid. Switching between the iconic bolt gun and your melee weapon is seamless, and there's a greater sense of tactical depth. Oh man. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? Oh wow, that's a lot of... Yeah, oh, so, dude. Oh, there's so many! They're climbing up each other! When I played this mission, I think like two guardsmen survived. Not only does Space Marine 2 retain the power fantasy of being an unstoppable force, but it also introduces more sophisticated combat mechanics. For instance, Titus can now access a broader range of devastating abilities, like launching devastating aerial attacks with a jump pack or calling in orbital strikes in certain missions. There's also parrying and different kinds of melee combat included as well. These moments make you feel like the true embodiment of a Space Marine, one of the Emperor's most elite warriors. The Tyranid Swarms are where Saber Interactive's swarm engine really shines, taking on hundreds if not thousands thousands of Tyranids at once gives the game a level of intensity that far exceeds the first. You're not just fighting individual enemies anymore, you're holding the line against waves and waves of foes designed to overwhelm and outnumber you. Wish I could teabag. Woo, Warhammer! Look at that ship, it's so cool! The guns! <laughs> it's, it's, like wings. <laughs> it's like a Lego! It's like a Lego! What if uh, Lego made Lego Warhammer? One of the biggest additions to Space Marine 2 is the introduction of cooperative gameplay. 
In the sequel, Titus is no longer just fighting alone. You're accompanied by your battle brothers, Sharon and Gadriel, who add a new tactical layer to the combat. The squad mechanics encourage players to work together to overcome the game's more challenging encounters. Whether you're reviving fallen comrades, providing cover fire, or coordinating attacks, these dynamics change the flow of battle considerably. In single player, your squad mates are controlled by AI, but in co-op mode, which is the way I think the game should be played if possible, friends can take control of these characters. This brings a new level of strategy to the game, especially in the harder difficulty modes. And it is not just about brute force anymore, you'll need to think on your feet, communicating with your squad to ensure survival. The Tyranids in Space Marine 2 are not just another enemy faction, they're a fully realized ecosystem of destruction. These bioengineered organisms evolve with one goal, to consume and adapt. From the smaller Hormigons and Termigants to the towering Carnifexes, every encounter with the Tyranids feels like you're facing a well-oiled machine of death. Saber Interactive has done a phenomenal job capturing the diverse range of Tyranid creatures. Each Tyranid class brings its own threats to the battlefield, requiring players to adapt to their strategies. Smaller creatures are going to swarm you in large numbers, while larger ones like Carnifexes are walking tanks capable of decimating even a heavily armored space marine. Their variety ensures that no two encounters feel the same, constantly keeping players on their toes. These enemies are more than just simple cannon fodder. They're a force of nature, overwhelming in both strength and number. The game captures this perfectly by making each fight feel desperate. They're constantly on the back foot, pushing forward with sheer willpower, determination, and a hefty dose of ultramarine brutality. Look, I could dunk on these guys. Look at how much taller a space like marine so is. I'm like so tall. I'd be a hell of an NBA player. Oh, they just got hit by a bomb. It's locust. I mean, Tyranids. While space marine excels in the single player and co-op aspect, it does not stop there. The multiplayer mode dubbed Eternal War allows players to face off in 6v6 battles across various game modes. Unlike other PvP shooters, Space Marine 2 emphasizes tactical team play. Whether it's capturing points in seize ground or outright annihilation in team deathmatch, teamwork and strategic thinking are key to victory. Multiplayer also gives the players the opportunity to fully customize their Space Marines and Chaos Marines, offering a host of cosmetic options. You can adjust armor, colors, weapons, and heraldry, allowing for a deep level of personalization that taps into the tabletop roots of the franchise. One thing I would like to see in the future is that the Trader Astartes, or Chaos Marines, whatever you want to call them, I would love for them to get more customization options because right now it's mostly just the Space Marines. There's also an additional co-op mode that features as operations. There are unique missions that you can tackle with your friends. Now, these aren't just simple skirmishes. They require coordination, communication, and careful planning. Operations help flesh out the single player story. There's several of them that whenever you go into a single player mission, an additional squad has to do something that helps you on that mission, and then you get to play those missions in the operations mode. It really brings everything full circle, and you get to play the game from multiple different perspectives. Frag out! Whoa! Oh, baby! I cannot parry again. Okay, that was sick. Hog to a Just nice. Nice, nice. That killed like a whole point zero 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 one percent <laughs> of all the Tyranids. While Space Marine 2 excels as a single player and co-op game, Operations helps build on the cooperative dynamic that is central to the story, making each mission a test of teamwork and strategy. The focus on multiplayer keeps the game fresh, ensuring a long-term engagement just beyond the campaign. Space Marine 2 really evokes a sense of nostalgia for many players, including myself, especially fans of classic third-person shooters like Gears of War. Much like Gears, Space Marine 2 has a certain old-school charm to its design. It is straightforward, fun, and unapologetically engaging. Both games share the core idea of hulking soldiers in heavy armor wading through battlefield carnage, but it's much more than that. Both Gears of War and Space Marine 2 focus heavily on the power fantasy of being an unstoppable force, whether you're wielding the Lancer in Gears or the Chainsword in Space Marine. The weighty feel of movement, the visceral satisfaction of close quarters combat, and the use of heavy weaponry make each kill feel impactful. There's a grounded simplicity to both games that harkens back to an era when shooters focused on delivering raw, unfiltered action. Space Marine 2 also taps into what made those classic game so engaging, a balance between challenging and fun. The melee and range combat feel intuitive, but the game doesn't force you to just sit behind cover. You're encouraged to dive into the fray using your chainsaw to cut through Tyranid hordes, just as you would with a chainsaw bayonet in Gears of War. That sense of pacing, of constantly pushing forward rather than hiding, is key to why this game feels like a throwback to the older, more direct, and more fun-oriented shooters. And there's, so, there's so many bad guys, it's so epic! Perfect! Oh, I'm executing him. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, caught him. 
Boom. Oh, yeah. The gaming landscape that is often dominated by live service elements, microtransactions, and these convoluted progression systems, Space Marine 2 really feels like a breath of fresh air. It's a straightforward game at its core. There's no excessive grind, no overcomplicated crafting systems, just pure, unfiltered gameplay. You jump into a mission, wield iconic weapons, and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the most fearsome enemies in the Warhammer universe. It's a reminder of how fun, well-designed combat and satisfying progression can hold a player's attention for hours. While the game offers customization options and progressions through skill upgrades and equipment enhancements. It also doesn't overwhelm the player with unnecessary mechanics. And this simplicity is really part of its charm, and it invites players to focus on what's important, which is the gameplay. Much like great shooters of the early 2000s, Space Marine 2 delivers a more focused experience. There's a narrative that pulls you forward, but it is the combat, the thrill of carving through hordes of enemies that makes the game so engaging and fun. Now with Space Marine 2 already delivering a highly engaging core experience, Saber Interactive has plans to to extend the game's life with substantial post-launch content. Free updates to introduce new operation missions, PvP modes, and additional enemy types that'll keep the game fresh for those who want to dive deeper into both the co-op and competitive gameplay. Furthermore, Season Pass owners will receive exclusive cosmetic rewards which tie into the lore of Warhammer 40k, new skins and items representing the various Space Marine chapters. The roadmap ensures that Space Marine 2 will remain a fixture in the Warhammer community for years to come. In an industry where games are becoming increasingly complex, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 stands out for its simplicity and relentless fun. It delivers an experience that both feels modern and classic at the same time. Saber Interactive has managed to capture the brutality and grandeur of Warhammer 40k, while also paying homage to design philosophies of old school shooters like Gears of War. Now the result is a game that's easy to pick up, hard to put down, and endlessly satisfying. This game is a reminder of why we love video games in the first place. It's fun, engaging, and doesn't get bogged down by unnecessary complications. Whether you're a diehard Warhammer fan or just looking for a very solid action game, Space Marine 2 delivers on all fronts. So suit up, pick up your chainsword, and get ready for the battle of a lifetime. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this sort of deep dive into Space Marine 2, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, I want to know what has been your favorite part of the game so far. For me, I've really enjoyed the single player. I haven't really got to do operations so much yet. I've done a few of them and I have been loving the PVP. Let me know down in the comment section below and stay tuned for more content right here on the channel.